Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we explain how to install the Robot Operating System, or briefly ROS, in Windows Subsystem for Linux. The Windows Subsystem for Linux is a feature of Windows that allows developers and users to run a Linux environment without the need for a separate virtual machine or dual booting. The Windows subsystem for Linux is often abbreviated as WSL. In this tutorial, we will not explain how to install WSL. To do that, you can go to this link and you can follow this tutorial. That's pretty much straightforward. However, when installing WSL, you have to select the proper version of Linux. And I will explain that in the sequel. In this tutorial, we explain how to install the ROS Noetic distribution in WSL. However, here you have to stop for a second and to carefully listen what I will explain in the sequel. To run ROS Noetic, or better to say to properly install the ROS Noetic distribution, you need to have the proper version of Linux. That is, you need to have this version of Linux, Ubuntu 20.04. ROS Noetic distribution will not run on any other Linux distribution. So when installing WSL, make sure that you select Ubuntu 20.04. This is very important. I need to follow these steps in order to properly install ROS in WSL. Note over here that there are some additional issues with GPU drivers since the graphics will not be displayed properly and I will do some tweaking and this tweaking will be explained at the end of this video tutorial. Now, I will provide a link to this document explaining all the commands that you need to type. However, it is a mistake if you simply go to the link and you simply copy and paste all the commands in your terminal. By doing that, you might be able to install ROS. However, you will never be able to properly learn the Linux command line. So my suggestion is to go over this video tutorial and to try to type everything what I'm typing on my screen on your screen and try to reproduce everything. That's the best way to learn the Linux command line. From now on and until the rest of this tutorial, I will assume that you have properly installed WSL2. Okay, let's start with ROS installation. First of all, let's start the WSL terminal. You click on start and type WSL and click over here. The first step is to check the Linux distribution. To do that, we need to type this and let's see the output. And over here, you should see Ubuntu 20.04. This third number actually doesn't matter. The most two important numbers are 20 and 0.04. Perfect. The next step is to configure our Ubuntu repositories to allow restricted universe and multiverse. To do that, we need to execute these three Linux commands. Let's do that. Here's the first one. Okay. Then let's execute the second one. And let's execute the third one. As you can see in my case, all these three types of repositories are already enabled. However, in your case, they might not be enabled. The step number three is to update our Linux. We do it like this. And then here you have to be patient. After that, you need to run this Linux command line command. Okay, you can see over here that my Linux distribution is up to date. The next step is to set up our computer to accept software from packages.ros.org. To do that, we need to execute this command. Okay, next, we need to set up our keys. 
To do that, we first need to install curl. As you can see, curl is installed in my case. However, in your case, you might see the installation progress. And next, we need to execute this command. And finally, we can install ROS by running this command. sudo apt install ROS noetic desktop full. And click on yes. And now here you have to be patient. This will take some time. After some time, the installation process will be completed. And the next step is to set up the environment. What does it mean to set up the environment? Every time we open a Linux terminal, we will need to type something like this, source, and then we will need to source this file. Now, you can of course do that. However, the easiest approach is to automatically source this ROS file when you open a terminal. To do that, we need to add this line to our .bash rc file. So let's do that by typing this. Okay, next time we open a terminal, our .bash rc file will be executed and consequently this line will be executed and the setup.bash ROS file will be executed. However, we can also execute .bash rc file by typing this. The next step is to install the dependencies for building packages and consequently we need to execute this line. Now this will take some time and you have to be patient. The next step is to install and to initialize ROSDEV. We do it by typing this. And as you can see in my case, I already installed ROSDEP. The next step is to initialize ROSDEP by running this command. Now, over here you will see an error. And the error comes from the fact that I already initialized ROSDEP. However, in your case, you will not see this error. And finally, let's update ROSDEP. And after some time, this command will be completed. Okay, now we are ready to test the installation by running the RVIS. The best strategy for testing the installation is to close the original terminal used to install ROS, then to open a new WSL terminal, and to run in this terminal ROS core. Since in the bash.rc file, we are already sourcing the ROS environment. We can simply type ROS core. And ROS core should start. Then, again, open a new terminal. And in this new terminal, let's run rviz by typing this. Let me just expand this terminal. And let's type this. Now, don't forget the following. Raw score should always be running in the background. That is, you should always have this terminal open that runs raw score. And in the new terminal, you can run RVIS. And here it is. Now, as you can see over here, there is an issue with the display. Now, this issue doesn't come from ROS, doesn't come from installation, it actually comes from conflicts between the GPU and WSL. And let me show you how to fix this issue. To solve this graphical issue, click on Start and type CMD and open the command prompt. 
The current folder when you open the command prompt should be users and your username. In my case, the username is a hover. However, it might happen that the command prompt might be opened in the C folder. You can easily navigate to users and your username by simply typing CD and then you need to specify the path. The path is this one and be careful to write users with capital U and type your username. Okay, now over here we need to create a separate configuration file. To do that you need to type the following. notepad.wsl config and click on yes you need to add these two lines to this configuration file here it is and save this configuration file then close the file and you can safely close the terminal what we need to do next is actually to close all the instances and all the terminals of WSL. The best way to do that is actually to start the Windows PowerShell and to type this. Let's do that. So click on start and type PowerShell. Then once the PowerShell is open, over here you need to type WSL dash dash shutdown. And this will close all the instances of our WSL. Now you can safely close the PowerShell and let's repeat the testing procedure. Again, open a new WSL terminal and in this terminal run raw score. You need to wait for a while and run raw score. Okay, next open a new terminal, WSL terminal and in this new terminal you actually need to run rviz. To run rviz we need to type this. And let's see what will happen. And voila, here it is. The problem completely disappeared. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.